Hi, this is Shomodip and this is the third episode I'm making about the COVID-19 pandemic that is going on and the current medicines that are being used by the scientists and doctors to treat the coronavirus patients. So several drugs are being tested as COVID-19 treatments. Here what we know so far, as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to spread across the world, killing thousands and bringing economies to their knees, doctors, scientists and governments are on the lookout for safe and effective treatment to help those who are sick. And yet, a large issue with COVID-19 is that there is as yet no cure. Though there are treatments that can alleviate the symptoms such as difficulty breathing, they do not address the underlying cause, the virus. The idea is that treating the symptoms will help prolong a patient's life and buy time for their own immune system to kick in and remove the infection. While research into related coronaviruses over the last few decades has brought some promising looking drugs. Only large clinical trials on patients with COVID-19 will be able to reveal precisely whether these interventions are safe and effective. Unfortunately, these kinds of large trials take time to carry out, but they are ongoing. The World Health Organization, who announced it has helped to launch four mega trials on COVID-19 and there are countless more smaller ones coordinated in countries worldwide. The WHO backend trials are focusing on drugs that are thought to directly block SARS-CoV-2, the virus strain that causes COVID-19 from replicating inside our lungs. Below are some the main drugs. These drugs are helping the patients who are being severely infected with this virus. The number one drug that is being used right now is Remdesivir. This is an intravenous antiviral drug that was developed to block inter sorry infection with related coronaviruses and even Ebola and is one of the drugs who is helping to investigate. Remdesivir is, has already been shown to work against SARS-CoV-2 in cells in dish in the lab as well as in mice infected with the virus. Remdesivir specifically targets key viral proteins involved in making new copies of the virus and prevents them from working. Remdesivir has already been used in some COVID-19 patients in the US, in actually part of Chicago and Illinois and it looks promising according to the doctors and scientists and it appears safe but large trials are needed to really know if this is the case. And the second drug that I am going to talk about is lopinavir or ritonavir. This is a drug combination used to against viruses like HIV. It works like in a similar way to remdesivir by blocking key viral proteins called proteases. Proteases lopinavir and ritonavir has already been effective against SARS-CoV-2 in lab cells as well as in mice and being tested alongside an antiviral drug called interferon beta. This is currently used to treat multiple sclerosis and can be enhance the natural defenses in the body and it provides a boost to the immunity and can fight against the coronavirus COVID-19 disease. And another drug that is the third drug that is being widely used right now that is chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine. Both of these drugs are currently used to treat malaria and autoimmune diseases like lupus. Chloroquine has been tested against lots of different infections because in lab it can block viruses including SARS-CoV-2 from getting inside the cells placed in a dish and so prevent the infection. Outside the lab, chloroquine has not been demonstrated to have a profound effect at preventing the disease and there is a limited evidence so far that it can work for COVID-19 despite receiving a lot of hype from the President Donald Trump. But again, large trials are needed and who is supporting this? As it should be taken with caution that when it is observed with chloroquine as it can have significant side effects in certain people and may even block the immune response that desired result in lupus treatments. So. This is the end of the video. I'm going to post more updates on it. And please be sure to subscribe and like my video as always. Thanks and goodbye. And keep safe distance and stay at home. And it's very important.
to always wash your hands and don't let anything contaminate by data and have a great day